Tuesday morning in Nairobi County officials descended on these structures in Gara. This wheeled bulldozer flattening everything in its wake. The bulldozer crushed the structures as their owners watched helplessly. This woman allowed to rescue the much she could. This man, however, not as lucky. While the county government maintains this exercise, though long overdue, was aimed at creating space for the planned Matatu terminals, the traders say otherwise. Kama wagekua ni kitu imeorganizewa vizuri, sio ni kama kuna mtu angeenda hasala, hiyo hasala imefanyika. Eh? Sababu sisi ni hokas kusema ukweli, lakini tunasikianga na tukona uchungu pia sisi kutafuta. Atupatia uwanja kufanyia kazi yetu. Kozi sisi wenye tunatoka kwa nyumba, tunafanya kazi, kuliko tunde tuibe. Ninge uriza tu serikali, tutakuwa tukichagua na kura zetu zina expire na three months. Juu ni kama tukisha chagua na tunakuwa useless. You see, once we give notice, people don't take action. They usually think we are, we are joking. But now I think they can see the reality. The Nairobi decongestion plan will see vehicles plying thicker superhighway into the city terminate their journey at Ngara and Park Road Termini. Passenger service vehicles using Waiyaki Way will terminate at Westlands, while those from Langata and Gong Road will head to railway station. All PSVs plying Jugo Road will terminate their journey at Muthuru Bus Station. In preparation for moving Matatus out of CBD, which we expect to do in the next 10 days, people and encroached, they and put up some illegal structures. They are the ones we, those are the ones we are clearing now. Even as the Nairobi County government maintains it is a step towards the decongestion of the city, the sector for which the space is being created is speaking a different language. According to the Matatu Transport Vehicles Association Secretary General Wambugu Kanoru, the move by the county government was devoid of stakeholders' engagement. To a conducive environment, to do a good Plans to eject PSVs from the CBD have been in the works for years now. City Hall now insisting that the 22nd of April will be the last day Matatus operate in the CBD. Hassan Mugambi, Citizen TV.